right, now I'm going to do a walkthrough for you, Dale, on 10054 Gulf Street. It's in East Inglewood's a good location. Here's a little glimpse around. It's a pretty busy road, but um, you have a pretty nice sized driveway here to do some turning around so you can, you know, nose out instead of backing out. Um, otherwise, it's, 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 it's in a pretty nice part of, it's East Inglewood, it just borders Rotunda. Now this house is definitely going to need some TLC. I've already been through it, so I want to do this walkthrough for you because it's easier to show you than try to explain it. Um, overall, it's not it's not awful, but it's going to need some loving. And since you and I haven't really talked that much, I'm not sure how much loving you're willing to give. But um, I will try to do my best with this video and kind of show you kind of what's going on. This is just a little front yard garden space. I'm not sure why this door is here, to be honest, but um, that's a door, and this is a screen door, and here is the actual front door. So I'm a little confused by all that, but um, anyway, so we'll walk into the living room here, and it's it's a very large size. So this this would be like your entire living space and you can see it's all open to the dining here and then to the kitchen i mean somebody lived here it's not it's not awful but it does need some help um it will need some loving but i i don't know how handy you are so so we'll talk more about that once i send the video uh anyway so this is the living room dining room and then you come off of this I'm not sure what this room was before, but I'm assuming it was part of an original lanai and then some time ago it was walled in with windows because see this actually is a slider from the master. So it makes sense that this was a lanai and see the slider from the dining room. Now if you go through here further, there is a big screen to lanai, which is quite nice. A little little uh, pressure washing and um, some elbow grease is most of the work in this house. There will be some other things. There may be um, some electrical outlets that need help, some light fixtures, that kind of thing. Mo mostly scrubbing and cleaning and a little bit of updating, that kind of thing. So it may be, and it may end up being a good value. So now we're back in that little room. Oh. For lack of a better word, I'm going to call it a sunroom, um, but really it's just an additional space off the master. I suppose it could make a nice office, actually. Um, this is all very spacious in through here. Um, you can see there's plenty of cabinets. They're, you know, they're all original, um, but everything looks, looks in good condition. It just needs some love. Okay, so come through here, and then off this way is what I guess would be the master, and that's where I just was with that slider. And then this has, you know, your sink area, big walk-in closet here, and then, you know, a shower, step-in shower here with the toilet. And then come back out here to the other side of the house. This is where there's another, another bedroom and bathroom. So here's, here's another bedroom, and then another closet. When I mention electric, nothing on this side of the house seems to turn on. I don't know if that's coincidence, but the bathroom and the bedroom, it could be just a popped fuse, who knows, but there could be some other things too. It is an older home, 86, 87, I think. Um, here's the bathroom, tub shower combo. Trust me when I, when I tell you I've seen I've seen worse. This this house was just it probably was an elderly couple I'm guessing. You could tell it wasn't always neglected, but it has been lately. A big utility room, big utility room. If you can see that. So here's let's see what's in here. So this would be you know could be pantry or something. This is inside the utility room. And then more cabinets there. And then, of course, the nice thing is you've got a gigantic two-car garage, which generally in this price range you don't get. Generally, you get a one-car garage. 
So this one, you know, does have a two-car garage with already cabinets in it and some shelving. So that's a plus. Anyway, I think um, I think it's worth talking about, but I have to find out where your head's at, that kind of thing. So again, I'll upload this to YouTube and get it off to you.